Well, everyone, I hope you're going to like this little film. This is one of our older films, five or six years old. Fantastic day that I had with uh, a Canadian party. I had been to Hurra three or four weeks before this day, and I remember the weather conditions were uh, they were atrocious for flying. They were one of the hottest days I can remember in uh, in early October. A lot of people that do shoot will remember these days. And anyway, uh, I went again, as I said, three or four weeks later with the with the uh, the Canadian team, and the keeper was very excited. He said, you "See a different day today, Dave," and he was 110 percent right. The birds went like stink, and they went. They just got better and better throughout the day. Right, we're here today at Ura, a beautiful little estate. Right on the edge of the moors, and uh, it's a pheasant passage day. It's part of uh, our Yorkshire tour. We're trying to get as many decent uh, Yorkshire shoots in as we can. Uh, this is part of it. This little drive that we're doing now is uh, it's called Wing Groves. Uh, and I don't know if it's Wing Grove or Wing Grove because it's, it's quite windy at the moment, so we should see some good birds off of here. As I've uh, remarked before about weather conditions, it, it can really affect a, a shoot. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's a high bird drive or a low bird drive or whatever. On a low bird drive, a bit of wind is handy. On a high bird drive, it can sometimes hamper things. And uh, we were here a few weeks ago, and uh, it, were, it were a gale force, uncannily warm for the time of the year, and, and very sunny. Absolutely diabolical flying conditions for the birds. And uh, unfortunately, it made uh, what could have been a lovely day into uh, purely down to weather conditions, turned into a, a mediocre day. And I've been to this estate before and shot it a few times, and we've also had some really, really good birds. And uh, we look at the conditions today, I think we could be in for a nice surprise, and we should see some really good birds today. Uh, the second drive known as Spinardi's or Spinardi Bank. I'm joining a group of uh, Canadians uh, 
John Simpson's team where he calls the, the Champions Tour, and that's the name he's given to his team. Uh, they've been coming here about 11, 12 years to shoot in Yorkshire. And typically they'll, they'll start off in Wales and uh, do the, uh, the Welsh shoots, the good Welsh shoots, and, and have a week in Yorkshire. And they thoroughly enjoy it. And the, these areas totally rely on um, um, repeat uh, customers. And when they come from as far afield as, uh, as Canada and uh, America, you know, it's nice to see these lads keep coming back. And they only come back because they get tripped properly, they get some proper shooting, and uh, they love to come here and, and join in the atmosphere and everything that shooting's about in England. We don't want to give this away. We want to encourage more and more overseas shooters. And this is what we're trying to do anyway in our films, to show people abroad what, you know, what they can expect when they come to England. introduced John Simpson, who has become a very good friend of mine from Canada, who has been coming to these uh, Yorkshire shoots for how long now, John? 25 years now. 25 years? 25 years. Oh, I made a mistake early on, I thought it was sort of 11, 12 years, but... 25 years since we started. Yeah. 2000 yeah. And 2003 when we first came yeah. here, so 12 years here. And what, what attracts you to these locations, is it, is it the, the actual shooting or the, the whole atmosphere, the, the the, the countryside. The... We were looking for higher birds. We had been shooting down in Devon country. We were looking for higher birds and we found Helmsley. And the package at Helmsley is really remarkable. It's got, it's got a great, great town center where you can go and you can be in the community. I think I know more people in Helmsley now than I have at home. Yeah. Um, it's got great shooting. You don't have to travel far. Um, sometimes we're lucky with weather and sometimes yeah. we aren't. But yeah. the, the high birds was the first thing we were looking yeah. for. When we get on about shooting, it's truly weather related. Uh, John can verify this because, you know, you've had days when on some fantastic eye bird days, you know, we, you know you're going to get some eye birds and then along comes the wind, you get, a, a, you know, you get bloody eye gales and they either go 
they don't come over the guns or they, they duck under the wind and it spoils the day altogether. And you, you'll get teams that will come and have a, they think they've had a bad day. These people do not fetch you to these places to give you a bad day. They want you to enjoy yourself so that you come back year after year. But it's all weather related, I'm yeah, afraid. We're, we're you know. working outside, there's things, we have no control over that. Yeah. But it's always a pleasure, it's always a pleasure to shoot the hybrids. Yeah. But it's just as much a pleasure to watch and it's really yeah. a pleasure to be outside yeah. and to be here with a whole bunch of nice people. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, a drive called Big Mac. There's actually the, uh, on this drive, don't know if you can hear the traffic, but there's a road about 200 yards up from there, and the birds will be coming over above the road, um, over some conifers where there's a, a cover crop there, maybe three or 400 yards in height. So we should see some really good birds, especially with this wind where it is now. So keep his fingers crossed and uh, see what this turns out like.
Right, guys, can we load up, please? I'd like to introduce you to the, the lads at Hurra that, uh, that run Hurra. James, Dom, Patrick. Now, I don't know what James does exactly. <laughs> what, what's your role in this in these matters, James? Uh, I suppose looking after the guns with uh, Patrick. Both Pat yeah. and I run most of the day, so yeah. uh, lining guns out, making sure everybody's in the shooting or trying to make sure everybody's in the shooting. Yeah, uh, it can be tricky, especially on days like today when you've got a strong wind. Yeah, well, you've had you've, you've had it up against you today, lads, but you've done a marvellous job. 